It's a new day and we've got a new trailers for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Let's do this. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. Call dark and horny at 12 o'clock. Oh, I'm watching a trailer. I've been waiting 40 years for this. They called themselves Ghostbusters. According to these hacks, they saved the world. No eyewitnesses. And who is found to carry the torch? Descendants of Egon Spengler. You have a miner hanging out the side of a moving vehicle, firing a laser gun indiscriminately. That's a proton pack. <laughs> it's completely safe. I wouldn't say completely safe. The Ghostbusters are finished. Right, well, overruled. Sustained. Thank you. You the weird guy who buys strange old things? Correct on both counts. Buddy, you just hit the jackpot. What is it? Better question is, what's inside of it? The parables tell of an unimaginable evil commanding an army of ghosts. With the power to kill by fear itself. Like, literally scared to death? We might be looking at a second ice age. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. Can I be of any help? Melnitz <laughs> in uniform! Yeah! If there's something strange, if there's something weird, what are people gonna call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> makes me feel good. Heads up. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. Alrighty, real quick before I share my thoughts on it, join me down below in the comment section. Let me know what did you think about the first full trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. One more thing, I'll be at Megacon this week with a bunch of my YouTube friends. We're leading panels all across all four days of it, doing meet and greets, all of that fun stuff. If you're anywhere near Florida or on planet Earth, I would love to meet you at Megacon. The details and times for everything are down below in the description. I'm going to watch that trailer one more time, and then we'll get started. Alrighty, I love Ghostbusters. I grew up watching the original film as well as the old The Real Ghostbusters animated show. I thoroughly enjoyed Afterlife, thought they recaptured the magic and it was a great way to bring back the franchise that honored the legacy so well. And this YouTube channel started with Ghostbusters 2016. It was my very first review that I did as Sean Chandler talks about. So I'm one of the few people that can actually say Ghostbusters 2016 changed the trajectory of my life, and going into this year, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire has been one of my most anticipated films of the entire year, and this new trailer, once again, hit pretty much all the right notes. Makes me feel good. It was everything that I would hoped it would be, and they said in the in some interviews and stuff, the, the creator said one of the big influences for this film was is the real Ghostbusters animated show where you have these Ghostbusters continuing to just spread all over uh, Manhattan and having all these kind of little adventures trying to stop them and they wanted to kind of recapture some of that magic. And you look at this trailer and that's the feeling you get that New York City is getting taken over by ghosts and they need as many people as possible to try and save the day and stop everything taking place. And... It it feels like it. So many of the past Ghostbusters films all felt like they were copying the f format or template of the original Ghostbusters in their own way. I mean, even Ghostbusters Two has a new threat, but 
it kind of has the same beats at the same moments. And then, of course, 2016 was a reboot of it, just putting ladies into it, changing a couple ingredients, adding a thousand more dance numbers, but it was kind of following the same formula. And then even Afterlife, as different as it was, it was going back to a lot of the same plot things, plot beats, especially in the back half that you found in the original Ghostbusters. And with this one, it feels like we're very much heading in a different direction. We're doing something new with the, the nature of the story, the template, the structure, all that stuff, fresh and new, while very much keeping it in the world of Ghostbusters. Of course, this trailer kicks off with William Atherton returning 40 years later, still skeptical of the Ghostbusters, and... You have this, like, what would, what would he be thinking all these years later after everything that's taken place? How, how does he fit back into it? Is he still skeptical? What's that going to look like in this film? How are they going to use him? Are they going to give him a bit of an arc or just keep him as the, the, the guy that is just the perpetual thorn in the side uh, of the Ghostbusters? I don't know. Um, I, I love all the new people they're adding in. Patton Oswalt and... Kumal Nanjiani, adding a little bit more into the mix. And then even because now we, they don't need to treat the return of the original Ghostbusters as a surprise, they can put, incorporate them all throughout the trailer and very much give you this, the sense of we have this robust world of Ghostbusters battling a whole bunch of Ghostbusters. Now, the one area where this one, I, the one concern I have coming out of this trailer is there a little bit too much winking at the camera? Is there a little bit too much still playing the nostalgia card? Like, I got it with Afterlife. You're trying to bring things back, win back some trust after Lady Ghostbusters. You want to honor the legacy. And so certain ways you play it safe with what you're trying to do and, and very much lean into the nostalgia, lean into what people love about Ghostbusters. But you did that. You made It worked. People accepted the new characters. And so when we're watching this one and uh, like William Atherton feels like that's a plot, like actually ties into the plot. But then when you make Paul Rudd singing Ghostbusters a prominent part of it, we're back at the same library, Slimer. They start being, okay, we're we're going back to the same well a few too many times. Are we, are we do, is that what this whole movie is going to be? Is that what this whole new run of films is going to be? Constantly going, hey, look. Remember? What are the, some of the member berries, remember that? That's the one concern I have. Otherwise, this is exactly what I was hoping for from a follow-up to Ghostbusters Afterlife. So that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments section. Also, I did a ranking of all the Ghostbusters movies when Afterlife came out, so you can hear my most recent updated thoughts on Ghostbuster films wherever that is at. If you're in Florida, remember I will be at Megacon this week with a bunch of my YouTube friends, film stock, Cody Leach, Holden Hardman, Adam Does Movies, and more. Information's down below in the description, and keep talking movies and TV.